Welcome back, everyone. We're diving deep today into something that honestly feels like it's straight out of the future. We're talking about a technology that's changing how we grow food, how we manage our resources, really how we think about the future of our planet. You ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. So we're talking about the NDMI index. And I know, I know, another acronym, right? But trust me on this, NDMI is different. It's like having x-ray vision, but for your plants. Okay, I'll bite. X-ray vision for plants. Exactly. It's giving us this incredible insight into how plants are really doing, even when we can't see it with our own eyes. And to help us break it all down, we have a real expert joining us for this deep dive. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. So let me jump right in. What is this NDMI thing and why should we even care? Well, I think it's fascinating how something completely invisible to us can tell us so much about the health of our planet. But basically, NDMI stands for Normalized Difference Moisture Index, and it all comes down to light. Okay, so light. Yeah, you see, healthy plants, plants that are well hydrated, they reflect light differently than plants that are stressed out, you know, the thirsty ones. And NDMI uses very specific wavelengths of light, we're talking near infrared and shortwave infrared to pick up on those really subtle differences. So it's like plants have their own secret language and NDMI is how we crack the code. Exactly. It's like translating plant whispers. By analyzing how much of each of those wavelengths a plant reflects, we get a value, a number, on a scale of minus no one to one. And that number, that NDMI value, it basically gives us a snapshot of the plant's internal moisture level. So it's like a plant's own personal hydration tracker. Exactly. It's like a report card. But instead of grades, we're looking at moisture levels. So a high score, good hydration, low score, time to break out the watering can. You got it. Although just like report cards, context is key. What's considered healthy for, say, a cactus in the desert would be a very different story for a rice paddy, mm -hmm. right? Right. You can't have one size fits all when it comes to plants. So how do these NDMI values actually play out in the real world? Like if I'm a farmer looking out at my fields, what am I looking for? Okay, so let's imagine that NDMI scale. And we'll start with those really low values, say Meckel 1 to 0. That's telling us things are pretty dry. We're talking desert-like conditions. So if I see those numbers, it's probably time to start worrying. It's definitely a red flag. But if we move up that scale just a little bit from 0 to 0.2, that's where we're going to start seeing those early warning signs. Plants in that range, they're thirsty, they need a drink, but there's still time to step in and make a difference. So like the plants are sending out an SOS. Exactly. They're like, hey, a little help here. And hopefully someone's listening. Right. But then we move into that 0.2 to 0.4 range. Yeah. And that's the sweet spot. Plants in that range are happy, they're healthy, they're getting just the right amount of water. Okay. That's what we like to hear. But what if the numbers keep climbing? I mean, can you have too much of a good thing. Yeah, you absolutely can, even when it comes to water. So if we go from 0.4 to 0.6, now we're talking about some lush, vibrant vegetation. Think of a field after a spring rain, that kind of thing. It sounds beautiful. It is. But bump those numbers up even further from 0.6 to 1, and now we're entering the territory of potential oversaturation. Okay, so too much water, not good. So what can a farmer actually do if they're seeing those really high NDMI values? Well, that's the beauty of this technology, right? It's not just about telling you if your plants are thirsty or drowning. It's about giving farmers the information they need to actually do something about it. So it's actionable intel. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine you're a farmer and you're dealing with limited water. I mean, that's the reality for a lot of farmers these days. Yeah, absolutely. NDMI lets you be so precise with your irrigation you can make sure that every drop is going exactly where it's needed most. Oh, I see. So instead of just kind of watering the entire field, hoping for the best, you can target specific areas that are showing signs of stress. Exactly. And that kind of efficiency, well, it makes a huge difference. I mean, we're talking about saving water, saving money, huh. and ultimately, you know, growing more food with less. And I think that's something we can all get behind. For sure. And it feels like this goes way beyond just one farm, right? It totally does. Yeah. When you think about it, being able to optimize water use on a global scale, I mean, that's huge for global food security, especially as our population keeps growing. So it's like a ripple effect. Exactly. And here's the thing, NDMI, it's not just about water either. It can actually help detect other issues that might be affecting plant health. Oh, really? So it's like a plant detective now? Kind of. Let's say you have a disease spreading through your crops or maybe there's a nutrient deficiency. Those things, they can impact a plant's ability to take up water. 
right? Makes sense. And that shows up in the NDMI data. Oh, wow. So it's like an early warning system. It gives farmers a chance to address a problem before it gets out of control. I can see how that would be invaluable. I mean, potentially saving entire crops. So we're talking about more food on the table, less waste. It's all connected. Exactly. And, you know, speaking of seeing into the future, there's this whole other level to this technology. You ready for this? Hit me with it. Okay. So NDMI can actually help predict crop yields. Whoa, really? Like actually predict how much food we're going to have. You got it. That's wild. How is that even possible? So by analyzing that NDMI data over the entire growing season, you know, watching those trends, experts can start to get a pretty accurate picture of how much a particular area is going to produce. So we're going from looking at the health of one plant to forecasting the output of a whole region. Yeah, pretty much. That feels like something straight out of Star Trek or something. It does, doesn't it? But here's the thing. It's not science fiction. Where? It's happening right now. And this technology isn't just for these massive industrial farms. There are companies out there, companies like Pharmanaut, they're using satellite imagery, AI, all of that, to make this technology accessible to pretty much any farmer. So any farmer, no matter how big or small their operation, can benefit from this. That's the idea. It's yeah. about putting that information directly into the hands of the people who need it most. I love that. So it's giving farmers these powerful tools. I mean, we're talking about accessing NDMI maps, getting alerts about potential problems, even AI-powered recommendations tailored to their specific needs. Exactly. It's like having a team of plant experts on call 247. But even with all of that, with all of this amazing technology, I have to imagine that NDMI, it's not a magic bullet, right? Right. NDMI is a fantastic tool. It really is but it's most effective when it's part of a larger toolkit. Okay, so what else is in that toolkit? I mean, what other tools are out there that farmers are using alongside NDMI to really get that complete picture? Yeah, so there's this whole suite of what we call vegetation indices, and they all give us valuable information. Okay. You've probably heard of NDVI. It's a big one. It focuses more on vegetation greenness, how dense the vegetation is. Okay. Then you have things like EVI, which is really good at looking at over overall vegetation health. You know, is it thriving? Is it struggling? And then there's NDWI, which is really useful for looking at water. You know, where are the water bodies? How much water is actually in the leaves? So each one of these indices, they're like pieces of a puzzle, right? Yeah. And when we put them all together, then we can really start to understand what's going on. So it's really about seeing that bigger picture. It's not just about one data point. It's about putting it all together. So even though NDMI is kind of the star of our show today, it's not working in isolation. Exactly. And the more data we can gather, the more we can analyze, the better equipped we are to deal with the challenges that are facing agriculture right now and in the future. Absolutely. Speaking of the future, I mean, the possibilities here seem almost limitless. Where do we even go from here? Where do you see NDMI and all of these related technologies? Where do you see all of that going in the years to come? Oh, the future. It's going to be wild. Uh -huh. Imagine even higher resolution imagery. Higher resolution? How high are we talking? High enough to understand stress at the level of individual plants. Wow. So we can give every single plant exactly what it needs. That's the idea. But it gets even cooler. Imagine combining that satellite imagery with real-time data from sensors right there in the field. Okay, so we're talking about a constant stream of information telling us exactly what's happening. Yep, and that's where AI comes in. Imagine AI that can take all of that data and turn it into personalized recommendations for every single plant. That sounds incredibly powerful. And this isn't just about boosting yields, is it? I mean, there's a much bigger picture here, especially when we're thinking about climate change and all the challenges that come with that. Absolutely. This technology, it has the potential to completely change the way we adapt to a changing climate. In what way? Think about it. As weather patterns get less predictable, as water becomes even more scarce, being able to understand plant stress, being able to respond to it in real time, that's going to be critical. Yeah. We're not just talking about growing more food. We're talking about making sure there's enough food for everyone, no matter what challenges the future throws our way. That's a powerful thought. So NDMI, it's this simple index, but it has the potential to change the world. I think so. It's amazing to think that something we can't even see with our own eyes could hold the key to the future of food, you know? It really makes you wonder what other secrets are out there just waiting to be discovered. That's it for our deep dive into the fascinating world of the NDMI. From tracking plant hydration to tackling global food security, it's clear that NDMI is more than just an index. 
It's a glimpse into a future where technology and nature work hand in hand to nourish our planet. Thanks for exploring with us, and we'll catch you next time for another deep dive.